The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of John, chapter 11, verses 1 through 45. Though Jesus had no home of his own when he began to travel and teach, there were a few places that he frequently stayed at. One was the home of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Uh, come in, come in. We want to hear everything. Stay as long as you like. Mary, Martha, and Lazarus lived in the town of Bethany, just outside of Jerusalem. But the last time that Jesus had been in Jerusalem, it didn't end so well with the religious leaders. My sheep listen to my voice. My Father who has given them to me is greater than anyone. I and the Father are one. He just claimed to be God. What an evil thing to say. The leaders actually picked up stones, threatening to kill Jesus. Jesus knew this was not the time to confront them, so he and his friends left and crossed over the Jordan River. While they were gone, Lazarus became very sick. I, I just need to lie down. Oh, he's burning up. We need cool water. I'll sit with him tonight. But Lazarus didn't get better. He became more and more feverish and restless. So hot. Mary and Martha became so worried about their brother that they sent a messenger after Jesus. After a long journey, the messenger finally reached Jesus and his friends. Martha and Mary say, Lord, the one you love is sick. Jesus turned to his friends. This sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory. God's son will receive glory because of it. Perhaps Jesus' friends thought he would just heal Lazarus from a distance, but two days later, Jesus told his friends, Lazarus is dead. Wait, what? For your benefit, I am glad I was not there. Now you will believe, but let us go to him. Even though the religious leaders had tried to kill Jesus in Jerusalem, he chose to return for the sake of his friend. When Jesus and his friends at last neared Bethany, they were quickly spotted by the men and women who would come to comfort Lazarus' sisters. Martha, Mary, Jesus is here. If only he had come earlier. I have got some things to say to him. Martha leapt up and ran to meet Jesus outside the village. Lord, I wish you had been here. Then my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you anything you ask for. Your brother will rise again. I know. When people are raised from the dead on the last day. Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live, even if they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes. I believe you are the Messiah, the Son of God who is supposed to come. Jesus nodded and looked past her. Where is Mary? Martha raced back to get her sister. Uh, the teacher is here. He's asking for you. Mary couldn't stop her tears, but she got up and hurried to meet Jesus, followed by her family and friends. When she reached him, she fell at his feet. Lord, I wish you had been here. Then my brother would not have died. Jesus saw her tears and the deep grief of the others around her, and his own spirit became very sad. Where have you put him? Come and see, Lord. As Jesus followed the crowd, his deep sadness overflowed into tears, and everyone noticed. See how much he loved Lazarus? Maybe. I mean, he made a blind man see. Couldn't he have showed up sooner and kept Lazarus from dying? Soon, the group reached the cave where Lazarus's body had been laid. A large rock blocked the entrance. Take away the stone. But Lord, he's been in there four days. By now, uh, there's a bad smell. Didn't I tell you that if you believe, you will see God's glory? Martha swallowed hard and nodded to several of the men standing nearby. Go ahead. 
The men braced themselves and shoved hard against the stone. The wide mouth of the cave gaped open. Jesus stood in front of it and then looked up to heaven. Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here. I said it so they will believe that you sent me. Then Jesus bent down and called loudly into the tomb. Lazarus, come out. For a moment, they heard nothing. And then, impossibly, they heard rustling. Lazarus stumbled out of the cave. Lazarus! Lazarus's face and body were still wrapped in strips of linen, but he was very much alive. Take off the burial clothes and let him go. Swiftly, Lazarus's friends and family unwrapped the strips of linen. Ah, uh, where am I? Jesus? Mary and Martha hugged their brother, laughing and crying. You're alive! You died. Jesus brought you back to life. Many of the people who had come to comfort Mary and Martha saw the incredible thing that Jesus has done. And so, they believed in him.